Gilligan. What have you got there? I don't know, but it's putting up a terrible fight. Here, let me help you. <laughs> well, Gilligan, don't let it bite you when you take the hook out. Wait a minute, Skipper, look. Crate of food. This is great. After having coconuts for so long, anything would be a treat. Yes. <laughs> coconuts. <laughs> well, at least we've got some newspapers to read. Yeah, maybe we can fill up in the food ads. <laughs> hey, Gilligan, huh? that's a Honolulu newspaper. Huh. I, well, listen to this. Oh, I can't believe it. It's about us. I haven't talked to any reporters lately, have you? <laughs> Survivors of the minnow, which left Honolulu immediately after the murder, are being sought for questioning. Murder? Yeah, we, all other suspects have been cleared, and it's believed that one of the seven persons aboard the missing minnow is the killer. <laughs> I got it. I know who did the murder. You, you know who, who did it? The butler. Gilligan, we don't have a butler. I used to watch everything on TV, and it was always the butler. Gilligan, we don't have a butler. I remember the case of the wrinkled minx. Everyone thought the maid was guilty, but it was the butler. Gilligan, he didn't even look like a murderer, but that didn't fool Perry Mason. He whispered something to Drake, and Drake got up and ran out of the courtroom. Gilligan, we don't have a... And then he ran right back in again, and he whispered something to Mr. Mason. And Mr. Mason stood up and pointed his finger at the butler and said, There is your murder. <laughs> All right, Gilligan, it is the butler. We don't have a butler. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to tell you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sit down and try and reason this thing out. Now, what's happened in every murder case that you ever read about? Somebody gets killed. Right. <laughs> Gilligan, I give up. Don't worry, Skipper. I got a few ideas. What we have to look for is the most innocent-looking person, and that person will be guilty. The most innocent-looking person? Yeah. And which one of us might that be? <laughs> it's the professor, naturally. He's the most innocent-looking person, so he's got to be guilty. The professor wouldn't kill a fly, Gilligan. Yeah, he's saving up his strength to kill people. <laughs> Sneak out and warn the others. No, you're not. We're going over and talk to the professor together. That way, I'll prove to you that he's not a killer. Ah, <laughs> oh, gentlemen, you're just in time. We are? Skipper, we gotta get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. I wanna show you how this operates, especially since I designed it mostly for you. Me? <laughs> is that what I think it is? A guillotine? Yes. And believe me, it's going to eliminate a lot of manpower. I believe you. Now, watch how simple it's going to be to chop coconuts. And it never misses. <laughs> we'll see you later, Professor. I think my little buddy here has developed a kind of a sore throat. <laughs> I can take care of that. Uh... Never mind. <laughs> 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 <laughs>